I have a nifty gadget to show you today. It's a non-electronic gadget, and this is for you film photographers out there. This is the Veloy 360. It is a film holder system so that you can use your digital camera to digitize your negatives or slides. And it's modular, so it works with most films from 35 millimeters to six by nine medium format. Now, I've been using a Nikon branded solution to digitize my 35 millimeter negatives and slides for quite a while, but many viewers have asked me about other solutions. So when Veloy contacted me about trying this, of course I said I'd try it out. I have been using it with 35 millimeter film and slides for a few months, and I can see this being a solution that not only works, but it might even be enjoyable for you. In case you're new here, hello, my name is Lee. I have been sharing videos here on this channel for 12 years. I capture a whole lot of high-tech digital photo and video, but I also love to get back to film. I make videos on all of it. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. If you are a film photographer, it's safe to say that you like a more manual process, a journey, if you will, especially if you're digitizing your own negatives and slides. So the Veloy 360 could be a very attractive solution to you. It is a relatively simple system, but it is definitely a manual process. You assemble the device yourself with the included instructions. All of the pieces are sturdy and well-made. And then here's what you do to digitize your negatives. You load the negatives or slides in. If you have negatives, you're even turning the cranks to advance each frame to photograph. I can't tell you why exactly this is satisfying, but it is. And then once this is set up, you'll need something like a light box. I used my iPad, but you could use a number of different light sources to illuminate the film. In fact, the kit that I have even included a diffuser that could be used with a bunch of different light sources. And then you position a camera facing directly down at the illuminated negative or slide. One thing to remember is that you do need to have a tripod or other rig that allows you to point the camera straight down. And then something that is conveniently different from the Nikon solution that I had been using is that you don't necessarily need a macro lens. You set up any lens that gets you close enough that the negative or slide fills a good portion of the frame. Of course, how much you'll be willing to crop into the edges of your film photo will depend on your camera, but the point is that you have options rather than a macro lens being necessary. A couple tips I have are to use a remote to trigger your digital camera or to at least use a delayed shutter. That way you can eliminate camera shake and use a longer shutter speed. I also recommend using some cotton gloves to limit smudging on your negatives. And especially if you aren't using something like an, a phone or an iPad as a light source, do some experimenting so that you can evenly illuminate the film and have fun. Like I said earlier, I can't say exactly why this is a satisfying process, but it's something about the well-made mechanism and taking control of one more element of my photography that does it for me. So if you are looking for a way to digitize your film negatives or slides, check out Voloi. I'll add a link in the description to their website. I'd also love to hear about how you handle your film workflow. Do you digitize on your own and how? I know some of you have even created your own setup, so tell us. And on your way down to those comments, please do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to Voloi for sending this, and thank you for watching.